I was supposed to go and work that night, but uh, my mission, let's say, was canceled by my manager. Around half past one, we heard a couple explosions. Called the control room of unit four, and surprisingly, nobody picked the phone, which was extremely unusual. So I called Unit 2 and I asked him about Unit 4, was it shut down or not? He made a several seconds pause and then he just said, look out of the window. Chernobyl still matters because the 1986 accident remains the worst civil nuclear accident ever, and I just hope that it will remain so. tons of uranium, molten uranium and plutonium are still in the old hastily built shelter and until this shelter is enclosed in the new safe confinement we will not be safe. Городской совет народных депутатов сообщает, что в связи с аварией на Чернобыльской атомной электростанции в городе Прикити складывается неблагоприятная радиационная обстановка. I am proud of the bank that it's accepted this challenge because it's risky and it's difficult, but it is of extreme significance for our regional operation. EBRD's involvement, they tend to think only of the arch, but actually this is a, a very major piece of kit that was put in uh, by us, uh, and it's a whole monitoring system of the existing object shelter, so it covers structural monitoring, seismic monitoring, and radiation monitoring. The stability of the existing object shelter is absolutely crucial. A 
основная цель нового безопасного конфаймента – это защита от окружающей среды от выброса радиоактивной пыли. В 1986 году существующий объект укрытия был построен в очень кратчайшие, кратчайшие сроки, и многие конструкции выработали свой ресурс. В течение вот последних пяти лет была выполнена работа по стабилизации существующих конструкций. Dimension of the arch itself is, uh, is uh, 262 meter of span, uh, 110 meter of height and 160 meter of, uh, of length. Total weight, including the cladding, including the system, including the main crane system, will be 36,000 tons. And we will push these 36,000 tons uh, over a, a length of uh, 320 meters. The, the reactor behind us there, in front of us the yellow thing is the main crane system which is the essential part of uh, uh, equipment for uh, deconstructing the object shelter after use which is the essential reason why we have this magnificent arch which is Structurally nearly complete, but a lot of auxiliary systems have to be completed in there, and that's the main focus of the work over the next next year or so. It is a challenging project with a lot of a lot of different uh, uh, job. Uh, we are more than 20 different nationalities, so you have to coordinate everybody. People often ask, why has it taken so long? And I, I tend to come back with the, the point of view that, well, the reason that international donors are involved, the reason the bank is involved, the reason Ukraine requested support in, in solving this is, is because it was a challenge, because it was difficult. If it was easy, it would have been completed 25 years ago. This event, disaster, catastrophe, whatever the world, the word is, this very significantly impacted our lives. Me, my family, my friends, colleagues, those who lived here, they will never forget it. It represents um, lessons learned and how not to do things or how, what to consider as you're doing things in the future. And it also represents a, an opportunity to do good for the world, you know, to help not just Ukraine and, and, and its people, but the people in the surrounding countries as well, because it poses a risk to everyone. I think my message to the donors would be proud, be proud of what you have achieved because this has been immensely complicated. It was unprecedented in scale, complexity and ambition and we still have many challenges to go but I think we have achieved an awful lot with collaboration with all the stakeholders. I have a very great deal of liking and respect for the EBRD. I think that all through these years that I've been here, they have been a very competent and very honest uh, operation and management. And Ukraine is not an easy country to cooperate in, so that makes it, I think, a, a double reason to compliment them. I think this is a moment to uh, really reflect about the work of the international community in the nuclear safety area over these past 20 years or so that we have been involved in it. And one has to recognize an incredible level of, of achievement. <laughs>